Hi, welcome to our series on calculus. The last two videos we learned how to calculate limits of a function as x tends to a finite value like x tends to 1, 2, minus 1, half, 0 like that. Right? But sometimes we also want to know what happens to a function as x tends to infinity. There are many practical applications we would want to know the value of the function as x tends to infinity. In the previous cases we said there are two approaches which is you do a substitution and if you get an undefined form uh, by substitution then we do a simplification and then substitute. Similarly when we want to find out the value of a function at x equal to infinity if we substitute here what do we get? The numerator actually becomes x cube in place of x cube if you put infinity numerator becomes an infinite value and denominator is also an infinite value. This is an indeterminate form. So how do we find out the value of this function at x tends to infinity. This is what we learn in this video. So in such cases what we need to do, do is inspect the rational expression and find highest exponent of x. The highest power of x here is x to power 4. This is the term which has the highest power in the whole expression. Then we divide both numerator by and denominator by this value to get 1 by x plus 1 by x cube whole divided by 1 minus 3 by x square plus 1 by x to power 4 and limit x tends to infinity. Now what I have done is taken x to power 4 and divided that x cube by x to power 4 to get 1 by x. x by x to power 4 gives you 1 by x cube like that. right? When we do this, this is the same expression in a different form. right? And then now when we apply x is equal to infinity in this function, what we get is 0 plus 0 which is 0 divided by 1. right? Because this becomes 0, this becomes 0 and this becomes 0. 1 by x as x tends to infinity is 0. 1 divided by infinity is 0. right? So we can we use that value. Hence the answer is 0. Hence, this rational expression approaches the value 0 as x approaches infinity. So, this is kind of intuitive, isn't it? So, if you look at the numerator, numerator is x cube and the denominator is x power 4. Whenever the power of the denominator is higher than the power of the numerator, as x tends to infinity, the overall function, the rational expression will tend to 0. And that's what we see here. Now, let's see one more example to understand this better. Now, this is another example where we have two functions, f of x, g of x. If you apply infinity in place of x, substitute infinity uh, in place of x, what we get here is infinity by infinity, which is an undeterminate term, minus another infinity, right? This is limit f of x plus limit g of x. Right? So it doesn't make sense. D infinity by infinity is an indeterminate form. So hence we need to do some simplification to find out what it is. So here because it's fractions, we do an LCM and then simplify the fraction. When we simplify this, what do we get is limit x tends to infinity x cube, which is this x cube minus x into x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1, right? Um, which will give us limit x tends to infinity. This is minus x divided by x square plus 1, all right? So now this is the overall function, right? If we simplify this, this again reduces to the form that we had in the first problem, right? So now the highest power is x square. So we'll divide both numerator and denominator by this to get limit x tends to infinity minus 1 by x divided by 1 plus 1 by x square. And when we apply x equal to infinity, then this becomes equals 0. When we apply x tends to infinity, this becomes 0 and this becomes 0, we get 0 divided by 1 which is equal to 0. Now let's look at one more form where both the numerator and denominator would be of the same power. Then what happens? Let's just learn. 
in the previous two examples we saw the num either the numerator or the denominator had a higher power compared to the other right in this example we'll consider an expression where the numerator and the denominator is of the same power and see what happens when x tends to infinity as usual if you substitute you see that we get a infinity by infinity form so what do we do we find out the highest power which is x square in this case uh, because it's the same both and then you uh, divide all the terms of numerator and denoted by the same x square so we get limit x tends to infinity 1 minus 1 by x square divided by 2 plus 1 by x square now we see that this term is equal to 0 when x tends to infinity and this is equal to 0 when x tends to infinity so we get 1 divided by 2 which is the answer right so finding limits when x tends to infinity amounts to just substitution or if the substitution yields an infinite by infinity indeterminate form divide by the highest power of x all the terms in numerator and denominator resulting expression you put x equal to infinity you will get the value now i'm going to leave you with three problems very similar to the problem that we have solved so far try it and try these three problems which are very similar to the problems that we have discussed in this video right the last problem might seem a little bit intimidating the expression seems very big but that's the beauty of math if you understand the symmetric behind the problem it reduces to one of the forms that we know and that we have dealt with work it out and watch the next video to know the solution for these problems thank you keep watching math smart